Hello, everybody who is watching this recording. Today is August 8th, 2024, game number 227. We have a bunch of people out sick or on vacation. So we have decided, we made the executive decision to just do three rounds. So we're going to do two main rounds and a bonus because it just seems easier. And I have a thousand things I want to do today still. So shortened version. I hope you guys like this. They're all coming back here in the next 36 seconds. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I sure um, like having them around. I love listening to people even in the background just playing them so I can just kind of hang out with people and um, good friends. They've all become you know great friends of mine and um, I sure miss them if I'm, I'm away for too long. So if you're interested in joining us for one time, uh, you know, for a, a event, please let me know. Here we go. The magic. You want to be full throated? Wow, everything changed. Now I got the, the, this meeting is being recorded in the middle of the screen again. It hasn't done that in, in months and months and months. <laughs> Another update. You know how those people are. Yeah. Okay. So I was just letting the audience, our, our massive audience out there know what we're doing both tonight. Of them, both of them. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I see Rob has already changed his spreadsheet. I think I'm going to keep my fingers off the spreadsheet from going forward so that Mark, Rob doesn't have heart, heart failure all the time from me doing it wrong. No, it worked. It's, I copied it. It's there. It's ready. It's got three. No, changes. it's perfect. It's just sitting there. I'm like, oh, it's already got three categories and everything. So I'm like, all right. I'll just leave it for the moment. Okay, so let's see. Alan, Faith, Romero, Kevin, and Rob. I know there's nothing happening in the news these days, but let's see what you came up with. We we didn't talk about the news, so we have an interesting name. Go ahead, uh, Romero. Romero Faith. has to retype it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it says, name, what is our, our name? name? We have is... 74 seconds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is that your name? Yes, that is our name. <laughs> Man, that's brilliant. I, uh, I didn't even see the countdown at all. It's yeah. like when she said, I thought she was kidding. It's like, well, it might have been moved. I don't know. Mine did not. No, pop no, up. she said she saw it then, huh? Yeah. Okay. Carolyn, Cindy, Gail, and Vincent. Our team name is very special. Is, is that the name? Uh, no. What? Oh, I know why. Okay. Just a second. We'll get it. That's my fault. Uh, Pole vaults are lost by this much. <laughs> I We're didn't thinking see that. eight inches. I don't get it. It's the guy got to see, got, the, got, you got to see the video. Yeah, the guy got disqualified on the pole vault because his penis touched the bar. Literally, like uh -huh. it, <laughs> it knocked his balls. His pole knocked off the pole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How He's did gonna, that happen? He, he, he was very well in doubt. He was very close to the and pole, very close to the but bar. he was coming very down, and it, yeah. his front of his but pants. Why would his, Why would that dangle? It, it didn't, didn't dangle. dangle. It just bulged he, out. He, 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 just, he had he, so he much stuff close. it brushed. It brushed the side of the bar. Why did he keep it like tucked in? You know, like it he, was he, tucked he, in, Susan. He just is very well endowed. I'm sorry, but you, there you are ways. See the video. I wear bras. You must make a bra for that. But, I, it's so called I a cup. I, I guess it on you. If I jump like that, I promise you, I will not knock out. He my probably eye. did it on purpose because he wasn't going to get the gold, the silver, or the bronze. But, but he's going to get some chicks out of the deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to get a lot. Of, he's going to get a lot. How do you know? It would have been funny if he had gotten. How do you know he's Kevin? Oh, he would have been picking guys out of up there if he was just hanging up there on it. You know, but... Not pick a good game, boy. I that was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I haven't seen the video. <laughs> All right, Jamie, Janine, Karen, and Lee. Vance has sex with his couch. He's homosexual. <laughs> oh my god! I've heard something about sort of like this. Does anybody know how this started? I had not heard that one. This is always kind of Jamie. The reason, okay, the way it started is someone was, you know hassling him on the internet and said 
it may be true. I'm not saying, <laughs> but it may be true that, and then they described a situation. The situation was that uh, Vance had college roommates and part of their kind of ritual or routine or frat boy bonding hazing involved a latex glove placed before big cushions on a couch and what some sexually frustrated people would do and so it spread across the internet that this was actually had actually been a story he told in his book hillbilly elegy so then it came forward no he uh, you know this did not happen it was not in the book then after that, someone showed an excerpt, a picture, what appeared to be the picture of the book, showing that it was in there and saying it was removed from uh, oh. copies. But again, that is probably not true either. But it just keeps the rumor going. They're really trolling him. Oh, my gosh. It's like <laughs> the best. I mean, how well, do you come he, up he with is a, like He that? is a dick. Yeah. And, Wal <laughs> and, Wal said, and Wal said in the thing. Of course, we're going to have a debate if he can get up off the couch. I know. Yeah. It's, that it's was been good. really funny how the Democrats the place, are. See what I did there? Second said, yeah. yeah, you know, it's sad, though, because I hate to see some, you know, <laughs> it's not true in a rumor like that, that you can't even, how do you protect yourself against it? But then again, it is J.D. Vance, and it seems okay. So I'm just yeah. going to look the other way. It's when I see, like, when I see vandalism <laughs> on a on a Psychic's Wikipedia page. This Olympian, I see it and I say, I say, that's got, no, I say, that's got to come off there. But I'm, I'm not right going to do it. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm no hurry, but it's got I mean, to come off. And I, and if it doesn't come off, I would remove it. Not and now, everything, I everything that comes, riches. everything that comes out of JD Vance's mouth is a lie anyway. So, so yeah. he, he, he deserves it. It just, yes, just absolutely. you know, I just hate to see something like that but whatever so thank you for the video is the second video you put up faith also one of those pole vaulting ones is the actual footage of him vaulting over and the are you sharing it and yes, she's using the word oh I she, see. she's using the word footage as a double meaning <laughs> i didn't actually intend to do that you know oh but... i see how that was oh yeah okay mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been a hand or something that would have done it too. You know, it's like a. Then it wouldn't have been a story. It isn't or that bad to look or something. At, to be honest, I'm just gonna say, man, this um, is on a loop. It's just like constant. Yeah, yeah. Just let's just watch it on the loop. They're yeah, because we can't see it enough. Yeah, um, not, this is the first time I've seen it, but now I can, I can visualize what you guys are talking about because it to me it didn't quite make sense. You know, like whoa. Mm -hmm. anyway, Susan, before best. you. Uh, go over the names because stating the names would be the transition into the actual playing of tonight's trivia light. <laughs> there will not be a break. So we have some business that simply must take place right now. And that is, you know how we sing a birthday if it's been the week of someone's birthday or something like that. Today is actually Susan's birthday today. Oh, so we <laughs> get to we get so to torment. I mean, <laughs> celebrate her by singing "Happy Birthday." Karen already warned hey. me, and I said, "All right, if it makes you guys feel better, <laughs> happy birthday it to does. me." And I okay. will. And Is I Kevin will with you. us? I'll pretend that I'm enjoying yeah, I myself. Think, I think he is. <laughs> okay, it has. I don't, I, keep in mind if you put anything up on my Facebook page. I'm going to delete it. <laughs> I don't do my birthday. <laughs> though, but I, I, and I've been doing that for years and everybody gets, people would race to early in the morning to try to beat me to it before I get up and they would delete it. I'd delete it and it'd be like, all these comments get deleted. And I thought it's funny. Anyway, go ahead. So all right. keep, keep in mind, there's an octave jump. So you might want to start low. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Susan, what? you got it all over my case when I kept my birthday a secret. I'm sorry, that's no, my prerogative. No, no, that's no, my no. prerogative. You have it on Facebook. It said your name. Well, I've managed to keep mine a secret so far. So yeah. there you go, girl. I'm with you, girl. 
I don't. Dude. Yeah. So Lee, if you have it on Facebook and it gives you that notification, you're delaying like, the, it happening. Oh, that's fine. Delaying the inevitable. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to 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 you. Happy birthday celebrate my birthday hey, 20 now. years from 42 yeah oh well there you go Matt. <laughs> thank you very much y'all okay God, i tonight. can't even remember i can't even remember 62 Jeez. <laughs> I, I, can't I forgot either. it was my birthday until i allowed my kids to text me and tell me happy <laughs> birthday but that's it about it so <laughs> game oh, number two and, and a harp and a water harp playing raccoon well, he's visiting tonight, I guess. I don't know. No, the video I sent you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That That's true. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Game 227, Season 5, August the 8th, 2024. We have three teams. Three teams. Yes, we do. Three teams, folks. Three teams. We can do this. What is our name? We have 74 seconds versus Pole Vaulter lost it by this much, eight inches. Versus Vance has sex with his couch. He's homosexual. <laughs> who could who could be the leader today on August the eighth of twenty twenty four? Our our leaders tonight are Rob Palmer, um, joining us all the way from New Jersey, <laughs> in the East Coast. Followed by Gail, who's right there in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of Psycon this year. And finally, on to the West Coast, we have Karen from down the street. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys are so funny. Okay, I miss you guys so much if I if I don't get to do this. Okay. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for your llama. Llama birthday. Aww. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So... You have your powers. And Rob is doing the best job ever with his sound off. I, I'll just narrate what he Wait, said. Wait, did you give the team names? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's okay. only three nice. teams. There's only three, and the first one is, what is our name? We have 74 seconds. Jeez. So it kind of didn't sound like a team name at first. <laughs> she sure did. Yeah. Okay, so first category of A Short Night is, what's the year? Ooh, I know what the year is 2024. <laughs> All right, round over. Let's move to round. <laughs> yeah, plus, yeah. plus or minus. I, Do we get plus or I minus? passed the test. I even know who the president is. All right. So and uh, I can draw a clock. I, I came up with, I think, as a unique scoring thing here. Uh I'm get, each each of the answers is going to be a specific year, and there's a there's a range on each one, it's different. But um, if no team gets it, no team gets it in the range correctly, so no team would win a point the normal way, then the closest team gets a point. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We go over the, or is it like without going over like price is right rules? Yeah, no, it's complicated enough. All right. When was Velcro patented plus or minus five years? Number two is. When was the iPad introduced? Only giving you a year on that one. Next one. The first commercially available cat litter in the United States was actually named kitty litter. When was that first sold? Oh, did it really it was called kitty litter? <laughs> minus five. That is so clever. Sometimes you get it just right. The just right. Time. Number four. In what year did Raytheon build the Radar Range, which was the name of the model, the first commercially available microwave oven? Give you five on that, plus or minus. Number five. Number five is, in what year did Jim Howe, a pharmacist in St. Louis, Missouri, develop Tums in his basement of his home while treating his wife's indigestion? Plus or minus five years. He experimented on his wife. <laughs> 
Yes. Here, here, try some of this rubber stuff. Okay, it didn't work. How about this dust on the floor? It didn't okay, work. How about some um here's some tree bark? How about how about this chalk? How about this one? <laughs> here, let me add some flavor to the you, you lost three you lost three wives before he got this one, right? <laughs> Wait, is this when it was patented or when he discovered it? Like when it became available or when he discovered it? No. What what year did he develop it? Each each one's a little bit different. Sometimes it says patented, sometimes it says introduced. This is oh. when did he develop it? Well, I guess I, I, I suppose if I read adjusted. it, if I read it, I would figure it yeah, out. Okay. Maybe. Why was he in the ba basement? You know, it's like, honey, <laughs> I mean, try this. Everything gets thing. done in the basement. Num <laughs> number six. John Berge, the head of Hamilton's Pulsar division, said that he was inspired to make a digital timepiece by the then futuristic digital clock that his company, Hamilton, not your not your cat, had made for 2001 A Space Odyssey. The first Pulsar cost $2,100 in money of the time and had a red light emitting diode LED display. In what year was it first sold? Plus or minus five years. Not my cat. <laughs> Number seven, 3M first test marketed their new Sticky Notes product as Press and Peel, but they failed to sell. Maybe the name, maybe something else. They then renamed the product as <laughs> um, what it wound up being, which is Post-it Notes, right? And launched a massive marketing campaign, giving out free samples to offices. And the people in the office loved them. In what year were Post-it Notes successfully launched across the United States? Plus or minus five years. Love how you spelled successfully. Mm, did I? <laughs> That's okay. Number eight. The first patent for a ballpoint pen was issued to John J. Loud, who was attempting to make a writing instrument that would be able to write, quote, as it says in the patent, on rough surfaces such as wood, coarse wrapping paper, and other articles, which fountain pens could not. In what year was this patent issued? Plus or minus 10 years. 1500. Number nine. The British Overseas Airway Corporation, also called BOAC, operated the very first commercial jet service flying between London and Johannesburg. In what year did this begin? Plus or minus five. I was actually trying to find when was the first jet plane flew? But that is a hard question to answer because like the, the uh, Nazis were doing it in secret, mm -hmm. we were doing it in secret. So I figured this was one that was specifically Ooh. out there with a, an exact date. Ooh, that's a good hint. Uh, the world's first grid connected nuclear power plant was in Obninsk and was connected to the Moscow power grid. This was the first nuclear reactor that produced electricity industrially, albeit on a very small scale. In what year did it begin operating? Plus for five years. So we got a wide range from okay. kitty litter to nuclear power there. Okay, and as I said, you either get it in the range, and if nobody tells me they get a point, then it's the closest one. You All just right? gave me an idea. I'm going to invent nuclear oh. power with kitty litter. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> it's already done. Oh, now that you shoot. mentioned it, you know it's out there, and it's important. And it's porn too now. <laughs> Join a room. I get to go to a room. I wonder what happened out. to Brandy and uh, not Carl. Carl's, Carl's got it, Owie. I'm here. I have no help, but I'm here. Hello. Hello. Um, I I would I would think Velcro ought to be something like in the fifties uh, or sixties, or would it have been earlier, Kevin? What do you think? I want to say early 70s. Like 71. With Velcro? Yeah. It was in the, yeah, it was in the NASA program developed it, right? Yeah. So, so for the space? For space, yeah. So go with 1966 then? Well, why don't you, if, what is, is there a plus minus on that? Yeah, plus minus five. So 66. Why don't you make it, then why don't you make it uh, a 70? 67? Sixty. Well, they were on the moon in sixty-eight. If Susan thinks they had it on the moon, oh, so sixty-five you know five years from that and go to sixty-three. So they what, had it sixty-five, yeah. and then you well, have six. Well, if we did sixty-seven, that would have us through uh, sixty-three to seventy-two. 
but we think it was before the space program in 1969. So go backwards and call it 63 or 64. You want to do 65? No, 63 or 64. 1964? Yeah. Because okay. you add five to that, that's 69. If, if Susan okay. showed we had it. Yeah, on the but then would it have been before that? So I'm, I'm thinking. That's that what I'm saying. That's why you go to 63. You no, would I would go. I would I would go a little later and have a, a little bit. Uh, the range be on a little higher. But you want no. the range past the moon landing? Past yeah, 1969? 63. If we do 63, it's 58 to 68. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. a year before right. the moon landing. Okay. okay, I know when the iPad was invented. It was in 2010. Really? That's when it was introduced. It was introduced in January 2010. Really? Not that long ago. Okay. Yep, no, and I remember because my ex-boyfriend at the time accused me of um, helping create the iPad name because it was like oh, iPad. Really? Yeah. You mean you had, was like, there, was another, there was another man in your life? Come on. Yes. There, yeah, there was. Her dad. Look what no. I got. No. Oh, hi there, Pickle. And Pepper. the kitty litter. The kitty litter. I actually know this because I was researching cat litter options. And it was sometime in the 1940s. After World War II. So I'm thinking like 46. Do you want to make it? Do you want to say 50 then? I would. I would say it was. It was before the 1950s. All right, so I say 48, 40. I have 46, more, though. I have 46, because it was either right after World War II or right before. All right. Because the guy invented clay cat litter because he went to his neighbor to ask for some sand. That was the original cat litter. So you're saying 46? Uh-huh. That sounds good. Radar range. I think they had that in the late 70s, like 78, 79. So take five years off that, maybe, just in 75? case. 1975 or 74? 74. Well, but then hang on. Is it a plus minus five? Yeah. yeah. So do you think it would be earlier could it have been earlier than that or should we move that a little later and get a, a bigger a range 79 to get 74 to 84 no i know they had it in 79 and 80 oh, all right so all I'm right pretty so sure i'm pretty sure they had it in 79 so you want to do 74 75 yeah uh -huh. all right what's that 74 yeah okay when was thumbs invented Yeah, I'll own up be our parents. So some of the old uh TV shows have ads for Tums. Uh what do you call an old show? Like the old black and white shows like What's My Line and stuff like that. Did they like, really? Did they yeah, they had line? ads for like Tums and Rolades or whatever. Rolades, yeah. What's whatever came first. Uh, this guy must have invented the first one. So do they had would you want to do something like 55? Yeah, that sounds okay. good. Okay, the Pulsar LED thing. Well, the movie came out in 1968, right? So you got to go backwards from there. If it, if it was inspired by the movie. Well, now they won't come out in 68. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did he say it was inspired by the movie or was there a book? It was made for the movie. It was inspired after the movie came out. Inspired to make a digital timepiece by the then futuristic digital clock Hamilton had made for 2001, A Space Odyssey. I believe that was a 1968 movie. Yeah. yeah. So the latest. I would have thought that yeah, there wasn't digital di digital thingies after before that. Well, the, the key there is he got that little red light. So it looks like how. Yeah. All right. So you want to just call it like 72 or something like that? No. See, the movie came out in 68. Right. So you said after the movie. 
okay, so say it came out in 69. All so right. You, so go a couple years lower, go like 66. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He made it. No, it has to go the other way around, made doesn't it? After, gotcha, after gotcha. After film, so. So, so go to 69 or 70, yeah. But wouldn't we want to go five years higher than that to give the whole range? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So, so it's like, like 63, or 73 maybe? Yeah. Okay. Someone's going to get it dead on and we're not going to get the point. Yeah. That's the only problem. Fine. Maybe. Seven. So when did the post-it notes come out? Now that was, those were created by the guy, the mother of um, the monkeys guy. Uh, no, was that was, no, you're, th you're confusing oh, that with white, uh, out. white out. White out. Well, it was still, I think Desmet. it was like the 80s, wasn't it? I think it oh. was because I remember working in the early 80s and we didn't have them. We didn't yeah, have I them. Was, I don't think it was that old. Not that old. I don't think we had them in 19. My first job was really 84 that I was in an office. And we might have had them right after that. I I uh, I I defected in '86, and I thought around that time they had already they already had them. No, maybe they maybe had it. Uh, do you want to just say like at '85 or '86, and then again we have the uh, yeah yeah go go with go with '86. Okay, because that covers '81 to '91. No, I mean, it's not just for the military for the. I like I like this because at least oh, the oh, answers. We the, the, the it's realistic that we could have come up and we could be close. You yeah. Know? B O A C. I, I I still remember the I remember the airline. Now the the um. It's got to be mid 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 or late. Um, oh wait a second, not sixties. Mid or uh, it'd be like late late. I don't 50s. know. Why did we come up with number eight? The ballpoint. Oh ballpoint. God damn it! I saw it. I literally saw this. I think this morning or yesterday, uh, a thing about the guy. The guy, uh, whether it's true or not, about how he got the idea, you know, for the ballpoint. The guy, where was the guy? The guy's from like uh, somewhere in Europe, I think, uh, Hungarian or or whatever. I think that that's but that's back in like the fifties, I think. I think the kids like in the fifties used to use fountain pens at some point. Well, they well we all we all tactics. learned. We learned how to. We had to learn how to use a fountain pen because they didn't want us using like it was a toy or something. They that the you know they it was like the legitimate way of writing was with a fountain pen, so you could get it all over your hand and and what and what and what year were you in school when you were writing second grade? Uh, uh, seventeen seventeen forty. Um, <laughs> uh, I remember they had those well, pocket protectors. Been, that would have been in like the six in uh, uh, early sixties. Uh, I had pens. I remember. I remember nineteen sixty eight, and I had pens. We weren't allowed to use point. pens in school. It's pencils, but we had pens existed. But, no, no, no. But were they ballpoint? Yeah, pens existed because we yeah. had. Because uh, I'm thinking ballpoints. It's got to be something around nine. I, I'm gonna. I would think. Late fifties, late fifties, maybe nineteen sixty. So because to, then that would give us because, but I think okay. by sixty five you already had. So it's got plus or minus like ten 58? years. It's got what about plus like or minus ten years on that one? Yeah, what is that? He, plus or minus ten mind. years. Oh well, then may I would say, how about like nineteen sixty? Nineteen or nineteen? Well, on nineteen fifty five, maybe fifty five. Oh. Okay, fifty five is good. He never learned so that would how give to us to sixty-five. Yeah, that gives us forty-five to fifty to sixty-five. We're no. we're in it's we're in there somewhere. It's just a matter of unless they unless they came out in forty-four no. or something. Okay, so what so did you say? What would you say? Fifty? Uh, fifty-five. 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 Yeah. yeah. The B O. No, I just I just remember that they would they wouldn't let they wouldn't let us use. Uh, they absolutely said you cannot use ballpoint pen. You had to use a fountain pen. And, and by uh, the time we got into school, fountain pens weren't a thing, and we right. learned that and, 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 and now they don't teach them that. Here's something: my father got a desk from the dump that came out of a school that had the well for the ink. Yeah, and brought it home and painted it, and that was pre 1966. Yeah, 
Oh well, right. that goes way back because you know they always have the cartoons of the 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 the, the boy with the girl with the yeah. girl sitting in front yeah. with the ponytail and he's sniffing yeah. he's sniffing her hair into so the. Uh, they into threw the they cleaned out the school and threw these things away before 1966. Yeah. So that means they weren't using but, pens. No, but you got to remember. I mean, by the time I, I, I we weren't dipping it in, we they had the had cartridges. No, okay. they had the no. We had these these cartridges. Yeah. And all I just remember, I used to make such a mess, and and nothing is made for lefties, and it was terrible because it's because you guys all should. Oh, because you're saying you're, you're all from saying. aliens. <laughs> lefties are all aliens from another planet. They just don't. B O A C. Yeah. <clears throat> D-O-A-C. London, um, um, it's got to be mid or late, uh, mid or late six, uh, mid or late fifties. Because um, I, I they, say nineteen sixty or nineteen fifty five. I remembered flying from Toronto to New York to Idlewild Airport, uh, which is Kennedy. Uh, and but now it was like fifty nine or sixty, and the uh, early sixties, and we we but we had to fly on a turboprop, and I don't know if there was if they were flying regularly yet uh, the jets. So it's something it's something in like I think mid late fifties. So what maybe what, like, what what's the plus minus plus or minus five. five. You want to do sixty. My, I would rather be... go to. I'd rather go like fifty eight or fifty seven. Okay. Go with yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And when was the first industrial nuclear reactor in Russia thing? Oh my God! Which one? Somebody's tracking the hurricane with Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving like the whole Little Debbie memes for this. Well, my wife is pleased that at least they spell it D E B Y and not I E. So she doesn't. I know she appreciates it. I like the I E. I don't like the Y. It looks so weird. Yeah. Not to those women with the Y. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, they're. Um, reactor. Nineteen well, are, are, is something like nineteen fifty too early. If you I think it's too early, add five years and go to fifty five. Well, I think fifty fifty might be too early. Well, you think it could have happened nineteen forty five after the war? Mm -hmm. No, no, 19... they were too busy blowing uh, making bombs. Okay, so nineteen fifty reactors could have happened in nineteen fifty. So, so go to like fifty four, fifty three. That's plus or minus five. If you don't think it happened in 50, what is it? Maybe 52, the earliest? If you think that's the earliest thing. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So 50, 56 or 55 or something like that. Well, do you want to do, do you want to do 55 and then you got the. I would. 50 to 60. But yeah. six, 60, it's probably already happened. But don't you think that may have been a little. When did we do our first nuclear reactor here for power? Because remember, the Cold War was going on, so I would think the U.S. would want to have had something going on. Well, the uh, we had the Three Mile Island thing happen in the 70s. and that Yeah, but that's up. already a lot. Right, that's what I'm saying. Before. That had been up for a while. So if that and they was said this was just a this was just a rudimentary thing. They right, so 71 minus another five. Maybe maybe even sixty one. They the Russians might. I, have it's it. probably it's probably more like that. Yeah. So which don't forget the like... Soviets. The Soviets hurried to do. They would do stuff before they really were the same with their with, with their with with their with sixty their or sixty one then sixty. They or 61. were in a hurry. To, they were always in a hurry to do stuff. Let's go with sixty. I think nineteen sixty. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got ten answers. <laughs> Like a, about a month ago, because we have a nuclear power plant near us here, and I guess they accidentally set off a warning siren. Oh, and Jesus. And an update to everybody telling us it was just an accidental test. 
Oh my God. And I'm driving to work and here's like the whole, oh, I think I actually screenshotted it on my phone. Let me try do to you, pull it Do off. you have, do you guys have uh, a regular, uh, like once a week uh, testing of your, of your sirens and stuff like that? No. That doesn't sound like an answer to any of my questions. So I assume you're done. We didn't yeah. hear a question. Wait, we we're waiting for you to give us the call, the categories. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we, we have it, it was a Tuesdays, Tuesday morning, every week at 10 o'clock, all the sirens go off uh, here. But it's it's not it's not air aid sirens. It's uh, we don't have to duck and cover. It's um, it's, uh, you know, like for um, uh, uh, tornado warnings and stuff like that. So they test it. But the first time I heard it, I didn't I didn't know they did that. And it's I mean, they're so spooky, you know, listening to those things. And I, yeah. I, I well, we yeah. can't hear it because we're like maybe 25 miles from it. Um, we're not in the. Yeah, it was July 9th. <laughs> I had to check Facebook because they had to send a. Because they they test the sirens periodically, and they always, oh. yeah, the ten mile emergency planning zone were inadvertently made audible. They were conducting silent testing of the sirens around the power plant to ensure proper functioning, and a small number of the sirens in the ten mile emergency planning zone were inadvertently made audible. Huh. By the way, uh, Su uh, Susan uh, just. Uh, uh, my my wife sends hugs. Just so you oh, know. thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I can always use hugs, except that I have COVID. So, you know, okay. best way to well, send. Well, my them wife used to call them. We call them bugs. We call them virtual hugs. So okay, so that's them. fine because I don't want to get to be sick. It looks like I already got Wendy sick and Jane sick, and I think Sterling sick. How do you know it was you? How do you know they didn't? Bring because it? I got it first. Then who gave it to you? The raccoon. Um, <laughs> so it's the raccoon. What, and what year? What year was that? Within five, plus or minus five. It was on Saturday, Sunday. Oh, okay. Twenty twenty four. Your raccoons are called trash pandas. We're back. So I apparently found that the, some people knew something about years. I kept coming up with years. I know lots and lots of years, but. I was in, I was even at some of those years, but I, I was, <laughs> yeah, but we knew we know the Rest best years. years. We know the best years. We're oh, really I know the best years. All right, so Robert, what you got? Okay, so question number one: When was Velcro patented? The rooms I were in got this one correct. Nineteen fifty-five. At least one team got hey. the year. Wow, you got it right on the on the money. Woo. We're doing wonderful. All right. That's one. Sure. Number two, when was the iPad introduced? I think this was the most recent question. It was way back in 2010. Oh, oh right on. Two in a row you guys got exactly while I was there. I was amazed. Is wow. that actually, why you were hanging out? Literally. Actually, you may, have gotten you, know three, you may have gotten three in a row because Kitty Litter was 1947. Oh. Well, we didn't Thank test you. it on the mark at all we got it okay but we were figuring okay. after the war you know something mm -hmm. created useless left over and they found a mm. use for it oh that's good i don't yeah. know about useless. Like, that's not how, how kitty litter it, was found out i actually was researching this like a month ago or so and that's how <laughs> i did here okay so number four i would wager a bet no one got this one exactly so we're gonna have to do the closest one because commercial does not necessarily mean you go and buy it in walmart it just means it's not military so companies were buying these for use in a giant company, and it was way back in 1947. Really? It was, by the way, five feet, 11 inches tall, weighed 750 pounds, and cost $5,000 at the time, which is $68,000 today. And it was cooled with water because it used three kilowatts of power. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. What if we're, what if we're, five within the five years which we are yeah oh and you, so you got it yeah and you got it 
Then we got Damn, all that to so, microwave popcorn. Yeah. Wow, every other oh, time I was listening get to it was right on, who was in but the we 60s. were five so, years. Exactly five years off. So you said within five years. So well, I got the range there. Oh. See the chat. So See, you said right in the first. chat. We got the range. Very good. I am shocked. Radar range. Uh huh. In other words, Rob, there's sometimes advantages to being old. So three and four have the same answer. That is correct. Just coincidence, not by planning. All right, number five. This is the um, Tums development, oh. which was way back, 1928. Wow. Oh, oh. oh man. That's Did anybody get that your wife and it was okay. No, Did anybody we didn't. Yes, range? sir. Yes, okay, we did. so who's who's the closest? What what are your years? One person from each team. Well, wait. Wait, wait, no, we, we got it. We got 1925, so we got the range. You did. All right. Cool. Yeah, we, did. Shocker. we did not. Shocker. Number I'm not old enough. Number six. <laughs> so I had one of these watches, but certainly not the first one. Probably a couple of years later when the price had gone down by about five times. Uh, the first one though was 1972. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah. yeah. What, did, what did we say in our room? We said 73, and that's okay. before 2001. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was the answer? 72. Okay. All right. The post-it notes finally got launched successfully in, and um. Lee was right on this, and I remember too. I started working at, that year actually, and then they started getting into our offices. It was 1980. Yeah. Oh yes. wow! Wow, we got it. Oh, and that's a, a five five year five of five. Yes, I thought that was right around there. Yeah. And we got 86, so we were right. Mm. Oh, I missed it by that much. By God, that I was much. thinking that's are older than me. Twenty years older. Good thing you didn't listen to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I heard people all over the map with the ballpoint paint. This was the oldest one on here. Yeah. Wow. 1888. Wow. wow. Oh, so wow. 18, My wow. grandfather was born in 1888. So it was my dad, John Dale. So it was patented, which was the question, right? Wow. It wasn't produced successfully for any reasonable price until probably, I don't know, the, the dates you guys were thinking about. Mm -hmm. And we used so, fountain pens when I was in high school. That's yeah, so I, people... I, I, I had one. It wasn't necessary, but it was kind of still cool. Ooh, look, I could buy a fountain pen and put these cartridges in it. And I got one just because it was fun. So, Rob, like the uh, uber expensive other things, uh, like in uh, Six and the microwave and stuff, were found, were the pens ballpoint pens available? And did rich people buy super expensive ballpoint pens? Yeah, I, d I don't remember. Oh, yeah. reading that so did somebody get a point for being the closest? Perfect. So yeah, so okay, so if nobody got that one, which I keep thinking, no, we did, no, we got it, we got it, no, oh, they got, got it, all right, wow, very good. When when I I was telling my team when when I was in when I was in I guess junior high or something like that, we were we were not allowed to use ballpoint pens. They had you had to use a fountain pen. Ballpoint pen was considered like a toy. That's because they weren't invented in nineteen seventeen forty. That's not nice. Uh, That's what he said earlier. He said 1740. Uh, so yes, when, Alan, I remember that. He didn't say that. Same idea. I, I was that, in high, that, high school. That's the way to do it. And I, I was one of the few people who bought a calculator, and it did like four functions, it's, maybe n square root, and it was probably hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And it took it a long time. Sometimes you watch it spin around and think. Yeah, we did. And the SR10. The SR10. All right, commercial, right. commercial. Right. commercial Commercial. We had to use an abacus. <laughs> we actually had a slide roll. Uh, yeah, we had a, I had a slide roll. We used a slide, slide roll in high school. Yeah. Num I number remember. nine, yeah. the commercial jet service. As I said, I tried to find out the actual first jet, but that mm. was almost impossible. But this was an easy one because it's a specific company and a specific route and a specific year, and it was 1952. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so we just made it. <laughs> we just made it. We made it. And lastly, but not leastly, nuclear power, uh, um, a facility actually producing power for the grid was Russian or Soviet, actually, because it was 1954. Oh. Whoa. Wow. 
Whoa. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, we did get it. Yay. We got it. You won when you're off. Job team. Wow. Very cool. This is, what did we this say, is a fun category. I like he this. Said he, did, he did very well. Well, we know that we know that Carl didn't win. Or Bill. Or Bill. Very what? good. Okay, so that's great, you guys. So let's go over to the scores and see how everybody did. So uh what was our what is our name? We only have 74 seconds. Um, four. Four. Yeah, four. Okay. Pole vaulter lost by this much. We got six. Woo! No, I think we what? Did seven. we get six? Got seven? How did we, we get that? seven, right? Uh I counted six, but maybe oh. I counted wrong. I don't know. Plus or minus. Three. <laughs> Cindy, what do you Cindy or Gail, what do you have? Yeah, I I, I can't copy the answers down myself. But I think I know that definitely did not get a Ramana got seven. I, mean, I thought we had seven. seven. No, we we, we missed seven. we missed nine. We missed eight. And we got number we, nine. We got no. Yeah, someone said nineteen fifty two. Yeah, we for got us, I think that, Oh, I said nineteen sixty five. No, for we. Jen. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we oh, got Gail. To... Gail said something like that. Yeah, we put it to 1950. Okay. Yeah. And... Well, next time, our team will just get everybody's going to say a different year. <laughs> <laughs> what is your score? Six, seven. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> Guys, you should wait till you replay this video. You get to listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. How By the way, is there, a is there a bonus round today? Do yes. we have a bonus? Two categories and a bonus round. So oh, Gary, two can stay in for a bonus. bonus if we can get through the scores. Vance has sex with his couch. He's homosexual. Great <laughs> team effort. Nine. Yeah. Wow. 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 Short round. That's probably the one in right Lee, there. Do you want to stick with that number? Or do you want to debate it for a while? <laughs> hey. <laughs> we all agree. We're good. <laughs> And yeah. the score and the mid score is six point six 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 six. Okay. So okay. Thank you, Ron. Right now, we should do we more categories like that. That's a good one. Gail, you're up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first category, a uh, second category of the night, rather, is going to be a mystery category. Yay. <laughs> and it was the butler. They always do it. <laughs> And I'm going to put the questions up. And obviously, because it's a mystery category, even though the question might not say it, every answer has to do with the mystery category, right? Yeah. I was putting in there, according to the mystery, according to the mystery, and I stopped doing that because it sounded ridiculous. So everyone has to do with the mystery. Okay. And let me tell you, it, these questions will be extremely difficult to answer if you don't get the category, although you don't get credit for getting it, except that you'll know the answers. However, let me tell you that you're not going to, I hope, find it difficult to figure it out. Okay. I didn't right. understand that, but I trust it'll make sense <laughs> later. You well, the, the, you part that, that. the part that'll make sense is once you, once you get the category, some of these questions will be very, very easy. Without the category, they'll be very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, what was Virginia Catherine McMath's stage name? She was an actress, dancer, singer during the golden age of Hollywood. Okay. Number two. And that's it. That's her whole category. To your room. <laughs> no, to your room. Takes me a minute. To... Happy. I'm kidding. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, remember this? Okay, here we're going with the problem with the numbers. Yeah. It's number two, not number one. What was the title of a 2000 Canadian supernatural horror film about two morbid teenage sisters? After her first period, one of them is attacked and turns into a werewolf. This film, with its powerful feminist themes, has inspired a cult following 
and a sequel followed it. And Carl isn't even here because he would have known the answer. He knows all about women's periods. <laughs> 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 He's our expert. He's a local expert on periods. Uh, hmm. I do okay, I'm going to put the number story. in to make sure the number gets there. This is number three. It's not, ignore the ones. If it's Christmas and there are children, parents will likely make these kits readily available today. However, this tradition predates Christianity and has been traced back to the to ancient Greece and Egypt. What are the things that I'm talking about? Number four. Oh. Okay, a human genetic condition affects about one to 2% of the population and may be associated with a higher risk of developing colorectal, ovarian, or cervical cancers. These people may also be at increased risk for Parkinson's disease, sunburn, and age-related skin issues. What is this human condition? Oh. Number five. Numerous health websites discuss the theme product. That is a true statement. The question is, true or false? The next statement. The John Hopkins Medical website suggests that most health claims made for this product should not be taken seriously. It should be avoided as a treatment for nausea during pregnancy, and there is no evidence that it helps with type 2 diabetes. What means theme product? Do you okay. mean you mean a product which fits the theme? Yeah. Well, um, don't ask questions. We got this. We got this. Got it. All of them are about products that fit the theme. If you don't know the theme, some of these are very difficult. Okay. I know the theme. Six. The drink related to this category is often considered a home remedy for indigestion mm -hmm. or motion sickness. Mm -hmm. An alcoholic version was created in England in the 1800s, while a similar non-alcoholic drink was made from Ireland and produced about 50 years later. Give the name of either of the two beverages. Number seven. What is the exact name of the part of the plant that is typically consumed for medical or culinary purposes? Obviously, the one that fits the category. Number eight. <clears throat> yeah. In 1896, an Egyptian mummy that was dated to around 3400 BCE was found in a curled fetal position common to burials of the time. It ha he has been determined to have been murdered, and it is unknown whether he was intentionally mummified or was the result of the hot, dry climate that preserved his body. He was placed on display in the British Museum in 1901 with his nickname that reflects our theme but he is officially known by the place where he was found. What is the place? He is known as Blank Man, based on that place. Hmm. Now this one is a multiple choice, and I hope those things copy. We'll see in a second. Yes, they do. He'd still be alive today. Okay. Nine, which of the following other plants is very closely related to the theme plant? A, turmeric, B, cardamom, C, galangal, or D, all of these are? 
Ah. And finally, number four, number 10. True or false? The theme plants are always used for the part that answered question number seven. While there are many varieties of these plants, they are never cultivated for anything other than that edible part. Many of their relatives in other parts of the plant can poison humans. Okay. Um, question. Okay. 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 Send this to our rooms before I forget. Um, you're not going? Did I not send it? Mm -hmm. oh. He's just joking. He's he's a teaser. He's a teaser, that man. Oh, well, I gotta go. It's gotta have something to do with ginger. I was wondering. Oh, gingerbread house for number three. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense now. Gingerbread I was house. About that, and then the first oh, one. Oh, ginger, I thought, ginger snaps. Ginger Rogers. Number two, ginger snaps, <laughs> and maybe ginger Rogers. Hey, okay, you're gonna have to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> okay, so number one. Okay, is it number one, ginger Rogers? Wait, wait, go slow. This is raining down. We don't okay. want to count these again. <laughs> Okay, so number two, ginger snaps. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Ginger snaps. <laughs> Wait, that's the movie? Yeah, it is. Ginger snaps. Like the cookie, but ginger is one of the characters. So she snaps? Number three, ginger red house. Red houses, yeah. Okay. Red house. Red. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Okay. So being redheaded? Ginger. Being a oh, ginger? Being a ginger. Number oh, four? yeah, ginger. So the, yeah. Okay. So five. So ginger, oh, I guess. It just would playing. be ginger, yeah. Yeah. That's when I got it because I knew number uh, three. Oh, I knew. so number five, is it true or false? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, Which one are we on? Number five, is it true or false? Yeah. I, I would say, oh. I'm sorry. I would say it's false because I never heard of ginger as being a uh, have anything to do with touch. Actually, together. I have heard of that because I am diabetic and ah. it's false. There is no, yeah. yeah. It does help at all. It, okay. uh, yeah, it doesn't does nothing. So ginger something. Ginger ale. Well, six would be ginger, ginger ale. ale. Yeah. Okay. Isn't it the root? Is that what they want? I don't know. I don't. Uh, How many other parts of the plant? Well, we eat the root. It's a ginger root. Right. That's what I thought. We see it in so, the store. It's yes, just so it's so that makes sense. Yeah. It looks wood. So I'll say root because that, that's what makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Should I just put root or ginger root? Ginger root. Root is fine, yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Um, that well, it's hurt. ginger related, so. I've never heard of a mummy. Is there a place called ginger or something ginger or like, like a ginger? Somewhere in Egypt. Uh oh. <sighs> no, I. I don't know. No, 
I don't know either. Ivan the Red. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Red Sea. Maybe it's found by the Red Sea then. The Red Sea Man? Where is the Red Sea exactly in the Middle East? I don't is that know. Run by Egypt? I really am bad at geography, so I am not the right person. Okay, sir, I think there is a ginger. Is it a river or ginger valley? Something like that. Okay. Ginger, ginger valley man or something. Okay. Ginger river. No, it wouldn't be a river. It'd probably be like a it'd probably be a valley or a cave or ginger valley, maybe. Okay. Something like that. I don't know. I've never heard of Ginger Valley. It's, well, it sounds all sort of right. Is they might know their spices for number nine. Okay, I, mean, um, I know that these are all very expensive prices or spices. Yeah. Okay. Turmeric is spicy. I don't, um, I don't, I do not know what. I don't know. Probably a, it's probably a trick question. It's probably all of these. Yeah. Usually the answer is always all of these. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what I don't know what that third one is. Um let's see, true or false. Well, maybe just roots. It's their roots or the only animal parts. Uh, I know the know. ginger. Shoot, no. I well, don't... do you ever use the ginger leaves? Right. Ginger. Or a flower, if you have a flowers. flower. Ginger pollen. Ginger, ginger, ginger is uh, ginger is it. underground. You knew that, right? Ginger root. Yeah, so I don't. It's a root. I've never heard of it. Yeah, ginger is a root. You've so never heard of You've never heard of ginger? It's maybe true. That, I think it's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we yeah, because it's always the ginger root. We never see anything else yeah. of the ginger. Yes. It has to do with greenery or that's crud or what well, can be crushed. But um oh, the stem part of the ginger. Fire. My name is Root. Oh, I did not know this. Apparently, and I learned this from a guy uh, playing a game, that cursive writing, people are not able to read cursive writing, the young, the young people. No, this that's not true. They could read it if they, you know, it's not, it depends on the cursive writing. It's, they're saying that kids are not going to be able to read. Some people are not going to be able to read it because it's not taught. But of course they could read it. It depends on how cursive it is. And it's not being a ginger. It's, it's being a redhead. Being a redhead. Okay. Well, it could be, I mean, it's the same thing. A ginger is a redhead. Yeah. Redhead. Yeah. But that's the condition is having red hair. Yeah. When I was going to being the place where I am going to Catholic school, very few people had red hair. In fact, I yeah. never, in fact, I never knew anybody. Huh. Red hair. Yeah. But I then, married was, a ginger and then he turned him gray. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he still has that look of a redhead. <laughs> he does. I've met her husband many times. My mom was a redhead. Hmm. Well, at least some sort of red. I never saw it red, red. Hmm. Red, red. Yeah, he was more of an auburn red, not like an orange carrot top, you know. Then when I got out of the Catholic system, there were a whole bunch of redheads that I seen. Hmm. They're keeping him from you from you. Yeah, yes, I don't know. I had a very weird childhood. Haven't we all? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I had a sad one. 
two. Oh. That's why I'm all the crazy I am today. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for the answers? Yeah. Yes. All right. For the questions. I was happy that it looked like everybody did get the huh, thing. Yeah, it was oh, gosh, we forgot to do one one of them, darn it. Let's oh, we one. get a point. We have a point over them. Yes. We miss, we have, we missed two, didn't we? Yeah, we forgot to do two. Sorry. No, we do. Three. Do you, you want to go back and do it? No, or? no, it's okay. Okay. The theme. no, it's okay. Oh, that's true. We have the theme. theme but... Yeah, let's just put that name plus sisters. How about? <laughs> there we go. I, I have a okay. cat named Ginger. Can you see I, my screen? I yeah. got to tell you, Gal, yes. I would have had zero points because I would have not known any of these answers nor gotten the theme. Really? Well, yeah. then it's a good thing yeah. you were on a team that but did it because I think the, answer, the scores are going to be much, much higher than I expected. Because <laughs> I, I was listening. Most teams well, did Rob, very well. have guessed false. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh. I'd show. Oh, man. And I can already tell that we got number nine wrong based on your background. Sure. Yeah, I, oh. I wanted to use a background that was mm. not obvious. Yeah, but so now it seems now we that got you mentioned nine wrong. that Karen, I realized we probably got number nine wrong too because we actually have that in our pantry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, here we go. The things related to gender. Number one, I think, I think everybody got that one. Look That's at her. Friendly. Number two. Ginger yeah, snaps. Now I thought that was going to be a hard Ooh. one. I wouldn't have known it, but apparently. That was that was saying something you know. I never heard of it. No. Oh, I get it now. Snap. I movie. I actually like that movie. I don't like movies with teenagers, but I actually <laughs> like that one. It actually Rotten Tomatoes gave it a ninety percent rating, which is about as high as their ratings ever go. It's a cult classic, they said. I I don't get the snaps. Please tell me. Werewolf. The name of the movie. The movie title is Ginger Snaps. No, no, no. no. Karen like, saying she gets the snaps. I still don't get snaps because either. Because they're werewolves. Well. Werewolves yeah. snap. If, they do. Uh, canine snap. At they bite. Uh -huh. And both and, the girls and, are redheads. And Ginger uh -huh. snaps is a cookie. Oh, and I the didn't get are redheads. it. I thought it meant Ginger snaps, like she's. Went nuts. Like, like she, she yeah, nuts. she goes. Like she goes. Well, she, she, she does go nuts. Susan's right. She she goes nuts. So that's another because layer. She changes there's... to a more violent person. Mm -hmm. She wasn't so that way before. Four layers of um of uh par plays on the words. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I've never heard of it. Mm. Okay, number three. Gingerbread houses. Yay. Yay. I think everybody got that one. Oh, is that the one at the Grand Floridian? I've seen that one. I've been there. It's really impressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where? At the Grand Floridian at Disney World is the the gingerbread yeah. house on the right. First one or the yep. second one? Which one, Karen? The first one or second one? The, the on the right. It's a huge gingerbread house. Yeah. Mm. I, I wonder what kind of style of housing they were building in ancient Greece and oh, Egypt. Oh yeah, look at it. it look at <laughs> yeah. it in relation to the height of the room. That's yeah. a, that's as yeah, tall they as take the it out to their apiary and let the bees use it to make honey when they're done with it. Yeah, Rob, yeah. I think that they, they their photography was limited back then to take pictures of it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, they're redhead gingers. They're called ginger people. One percent. I was listening to some of the answers, and this is one to two percent of the population, folks. There, it's rare, but all of those things are more likely to happen if you're a redhead or a ginger person. And those did, are you, examples. did you know that there was there was a time where uh, I don't know if it was in Britain or whatever that you if you, a Christian was forbidden to marry a redhead because they were um, they were considered to have uh, Jewish blood. 
or something uh, that they were that they were considered that somewhere along the line that they 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 were Jewish ancestry, and so you couldn't mm. marry you couldn't marry a redhead. I I yeah. would have thought the opposite. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to know it, it, what, it when... originated in Northern Europe. Oh, I know oh. The 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 Tudors. Oh, we, we look at we look at redhead now, you know, like Jezebel kind of thing, but it became more acceptable in Northern Europe because of the Tudor family having mm. red hair. So well, I, I, I never heard this term until Dr. Mm. Who and, and Amy oh. Pond. Um, does everybody know this from my childhood? Is uh, somehow I just no, I it. never heard it. But really. ginger, ginger is not all redheads. Ginger is a type of redhead, but all of us who are redheads are not gingers. Well, most people could use them interchangeably now. The word has become synonymous. I don't know where it started. Okay, so it doesn't mean a light redhead like these folks, as opposed to those of us with like darker that had had not anymore <laughs> like uh auburn hair darker auburn hair dark red hair. i don't think I think, anymore. With I think no. anymore it's, yeah i think it, it started there maybe but i think now anybody who's a redhead can be called a ginger uh, it's fair skin freckled but, you have to but solve. only a ginger can call someone else another ginger ginger yeah that's a rule yeah, yeah it, it started out just do you guys not know the song that i just quoted yes we know yeah. it's, it's a became great both right great song okay number five is mm. false and ginger has all of those health benefits and they say that's what they say in the website that i do and this is quoted from the website and i'll even leave it up there long enough for you to look at it but this is according to um uh this very reputable web website uh from johns hopkins uh things that Ginger is good for. It's an mm -hmm. anti-inflammatory, a probiotic. In fact, the one thing they say you should not do is take a ginger supplement because then you're getting too much. Mm -hmm. but, so where, where is the diabetes thing here? It's probably not in this particular quote. It, there are so many health benefits, but it is it is known as for type 2 diabetes. It is known to help with sugar, um, uh, the ability of the insulin to, to be react with the sugars. So sugar goes down when they, when with, it's not huge effect. I mean, it's not instead of insulin, but it is helpful to people. With it probably insulin. has something to do with the digestion component to allow for diabetics to have a better rate of digestion and motility. Yeah. And they, the, the benefits of ginger are incredible. But all of the places that talk about it make it very, very clear that it doesn't, it shouldn't be a supplement or a pill because overdosing is also a possibility. Mm. But, That's true. Yeah. But eating things with yeah. ginger is definitely helpful in all of those yeah. situations. <laughs> okay. Ginger tea, ginger beer. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it ginger ale, oh, which could also be acceptable. Ginger oh, ale. Yay. Okay. Ginger ale. Yeah. Ginger ale would also be acceptable. And, and the ginger makes oh. you run, run as fast mm -hmm. as you can. <laughs> okay, seven. Seven was one that I, I thought I was going to trick you. Um, I think I did. Oh, it is oh. not the root. Oh. It, is, it is an underground stem. Okay. Oh, mm. so it's called a rhizome. Yeah. Janine, not, Janine it is that. obviously, and if you, you look at the pictures, you can see the actual root coming out, and yeah. it's the way they're usually mm. propagated. But it is an—it's a rhizome. It's a stem. It is definitely mm. not the stem. So I think most of you probably missed that one. But that uh, Janine, I knew that was going to be a Janine hard question. Janine knew it. Yes, she knows. Janine was in Janine was in botany and plant propagation. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Ah, my yeah. specialty. That's nice. okay. okay. Number eight. And that's another hard one. He was called the ginger, yeah. the ginger, because because uh, he had red hair. So oh. the hair they found. That's a picture of him. Oh. At the place he was, his his official name is Gebulain Man. I don't know how to pronounce it. And he was in hmm. the Brit British Museum on display. They don't display them anymore, I don't think. Because he didn't give permission. Un I'm sorry. He didn't give permission. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. But he's a, probably the oldest mummy that's ever been found and probably was just mummified by accident because of the climate mm-hmm. in the desert. But they don't know that for sure either. Wow. That's yeah. funny. He doesn't look like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, Number nine. I'm as you noted, that's all of yeah. them. All of these. Hey, we got it just because... Those are the those are the most common things that are related to ginger and recipes for Asian food, especially Thai food and Vietnamese food will often call for galangal and they'll say you can always substitute ginger. You can, but it won't taste the same. But like galangal yeah. doesn't taste anything like ginger. Fill and of turmeric is now a big deal, but they're all very closely related biologically. But, but cardamom, yeah. where's cardamom in all this? Yeah, cardamom's there. It's there in the dish. I know, but cardamom is also all the varieties of cardamom are from that same family, but it's another part of the plant. Ah, uh, which of course helps to give away that number ten is false. Um, so plants, there are literally thousands of plants in the basic uh, category that ginger belongs in, and we only use these four categories normally, and we only think about them. However, there are ginger fruits that are totally edible, and you can see them in the picture. Mm-hmm. They are used as ornamental plants. Oh, what do you the, And I made it really false with the comment about poisoning, because mm-hmm. although no one will say that all wild ginger is absolutely <laughs> safe to eat, the general position is that no one has ever been documented as having been poisoned in any way by any form of ginger. And when they mm. thought it was, it was because they misidentified another kind of plant as a ginger plant, because there are just so many. All of those are gingers that you see in the picture. Mm. And there's obviously nothing alike. And you can, there are some places, especially in South America, there are places where ginger fruit is eaten. Huh. But if there's not much there in the mm. fruit, which is probably the reason it doesn't go very far. Because mm. after you take the seed off and take the seed out, there's very little fruit left. But there are people who've eaten it, and they do eat it there. And they're obviously very pretty ornamental plants as well. So that's it. Yay! Ooh. Very good. Yep. Hi, Brandy. Okay, so now I'm going to share screen so you guys can see the scores, because I know hi, how much guys. you guys like this part. Look, it's, yeah, hi. Thank you for the pizza. <laughs> that was great. It really uh, hit the. We went and got went all out. I've never had pizza delivered. I don't think I've ever had pizza delivered. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank you both. You may be unique in America being able to say that. Well, I just go to go pick it up usually, but this time it was really convenient not to. Okay, here we use our scores. What is our name? We only have we have seventy four seconds. We got six for us. And then Pole Vaulter lost by this much. We got seven. Vance has sex with his couch. He's a homosexual. Sectional. Five. Well, we know what we know what team the you two are on. (laughs) We're only gonna do a bonus, and that's it. We've been We've been farting around because there's so few people. We're just going to do a short thing. So let's just pause just briefly and um, take our photo since since we have newcomers. So let me do that. Um, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Got it. Okay, and then lastly, do we let's just do some quick announcements and then we can go to bonus. I have uh Rob, can you start? Because I know you've got something big. Yeah, so today they published my interview with Neil. Because he won't let oh, me call him Dr. Neil. Carson. He won't Ms. let me call Neil. him Dr. He said no, don't Neil. Be doctor. He wants to be Neil. And he he had the whole explanation of, you know, the argument from authority thing doesn't go doesn't help people. So he wants to be Neil. So yeah. That's fine. He didn't answer my question directly though. What? He did not answer my question. I was asking about leadership and then also about the fact that he 
you know, you know, activism and stuff and that he participates in. So he answered that area, but he didn't really yeah. talk about the like the so greater scale. The one I edited out for, for length of time, actually, and because he didn't know what it was, was I asked him your other question and he has never heard of birds are not, birds real. not real. He was like, what are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> and then I actually like talked about it for like 10 minutes with him and he was flabbergasted that there was a thing like that out there. Wow. So wow, that didn't make it into the interview because there was no point in Neil doesn't know making, about him, this. making him embarrassed about that. But that was wonderful, though. What was um, it, Susan? Huh? You, you, you piqued my interest, and then now Rob says I won't hear it on the interview. What was it that you added? Oh, birds are, what does he think of birds not real? Oh, oh I You've know where that's from. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? But it, it wouldn't necessarily be an embarrassment embarrassing to him i mean it's not real it's not a science and it's a conspiracy thing is he a conspiracy expert well he, he does no he's not an expert he, he does argue with you know flat earthers and yeah. things like that but he's, yeah, he's yeah. not he, i was surprising he never heard of it but anyway I, first i thought i think he thought i was pulling his leg <laughs> just making this up <laughs> this is so stupid this can't possibly be but no right uh, yeah, that's that's why the guy did it, and that's yeah. the point. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Carolyn's got some really big news. Carolyn, why don't you share your big news? She's oh. pregnant. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, that that is, that is sailed. <laughs> actually, well, that uh, really big big news. <laughs> yeah, that that would be a miracle, actually. Why? Well, yeah. Um, so anyway, um, I have been elected to the advisory board for Ollie at the Pacific, um, at University Pacific. Um, actually talking about miracles and everything, this is kind of related yesterday when we did an icebreaker, they said, what would people who really know you know about you? And I said, because I am a pride, a proud childless cat lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was relevant. Um, and then real quick, um, and, and I did have an agenda. I told them, you know, when I, they invited me to be on the curriculum committee a few years ago, my agenda was. Um, I wanted more science and reason and media and literacy taught at Ollie. So, yay. That's yeah. wonderful news. Carolyn, Carolyn, do you know about the the scholarships that they were, they announced today for SciCon mm -hmm. for college students? Oh, oh yes. For, yes, I do. Yes. I just shared it on my Facebook page. Gail, can you mention that really quick? If anybody knows anybody. Yeah, I, I, I sent it to, um, I, out on my, my website. If you want to look at my Facebook page. I have that whole thing on there. Well, There's briefly a sum it up. Scholarship available for college students that pays for room, transportation, and the conference fees. And I, I've been trying to send it to everybody I know who has access to college students. Sammy uh, Schuster, who's who we met at last Icon, she was one of the recipients of that. Cool. And from what I understand, most people do not apply. Did they only give them a week to look at the dates right? Yeah, a, a week left. I think there was time before that, but they're trying to publicize it now. Mm -hmm. um, real, real quick, though. Sure. Um, in two months, we have California Free Thought Day at the California Capitol. It's on the Capitol lawn. Um, if you're a skeptic, California. I, I, California. I hope you will come um because we do i i'm not i think we're recording so i'm not going to say but there is a notable skeptic from california that is receiving an award this year so um plus i would like you to help me table that would be great but um you would you will yes thank you lee <laughs> and that's uh, the september october 6th oh, october 6th when it's a little bit cooler we hope so it was a little uh toasty last year but yeah and yeah, I will let you know, as it gets closer, I'll announce who it is, but I don't think I am able to tell you who it is publicly right now, but I could tell you privately if you, if you're curious. Um, I think we could, um, say people should have been here. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. You should have wow. been here. I'm telling you, people should have been here. Yeah. Okay, Amazing. I would guess that in a bazillion years. <laughs> I would never wow. have guessed it in 20,000 years. Okay, Brandy and Kyle. Kyle, what's on the Data Skeptic? Well, I just dropped one today called Hacking the Colony. It's about some researchers who thought about, uh, in terms of ant colonies, 
what if there were a couple of bad actors, some ants, because I guess they're kind of communists, right? Uh, one of the ants doesn't want to play along. How damaging is that to the colony? And they come up with a pretty good answer on that question. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like that. Fantastic. So, um, I don't know. I'm listening to deny. I'm behind on all <laughs> my podcasts, uh, but I will catch up. Um, Skeptic Zone, <laughs> I don't know a lot about it, except that I know that uh, he's dedicating it to Mark Edward. He had me record something. And I've got the most adorable, cutest thing in the world I haven't shared on Facebook uh, audio that I found last night. I searched for over an hour and I found it. You know, the stupid things you record, make sure you always record those stupid little things. I mean, those private or whatever. I mean, not all private things, but you know what I mean? Those, those things, record them and save them and put them someplace. Make sure you take them off your phone and put them someplace safe. But anyway, so the Skeptic Zone, there's going to be a tribute to Mark Edward. Adrian sent something. And I don't know what else is going to be on there, but that should be out soon. Um, also, the skeptical newest Skeptical Inquirer is coming out really soon. It's The cover is Adrienne Hill's new article on the Winchester Mystery House. I'm so proud of her. I have a little, I have a one page article in there and she is just the, it's just like super excited. Um, Rob, oh yeah, I already did that. The other thing that happened is a couple of days ago. Um, I got an interview request for uh, a reporter in the UK that is doing a story for The Cut. And I think it's a New York magazine or New York something, New York Post. I don't know. And it was about um, psychics and therapy. So I I gave her a big earful. <laughs> 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 I gave her a massive earful. And I think she got it. So... I don't know when that'll be out, but she's she's a freelance journalist working on this story for this art for this new for this magazine. So I don't I don't quite know what's going on with with that. And if you guys want to see more Mark Edwards stuff, I'm uploading him a, a little bit every day, I think. So um that's it. And there will be a party at my house someday when I finally get it together, but not not for a while. I've got a lot to do. A lot a lot a lot a lot. And Karen was freaking amazing. She's she's just on it janine you've got something happening up in your area neck of the woods coming up pretty soon i'll be going to see it anything any reason why other people might want to go over there and come yes in? i would encourage people to come we're gonna of course like all the skeptic camps we've got a skeptics in the pub friday night saturday our lineup of speakers we have susan we have melanie trackett king we have um, Allison Carter, who's an assistant professor of anthropology at the University of Oregon, who teaches a class on pseudo-archaeology. Oh. We have my former supervisor and boss. I worked on a super neat project in his lab. Uh, Dr. Steven Strauss, who's a university distinguished professor of forestry, forest biotechnology from Oregon State University talking about what is the GMO controversy really about. Um, we have Ellen Peters from the University of Oregon, the Philip H. Knight Chair and Professor, Director of the Center for Science Communication Research from the University of Oregon. She wrote a book called um, don't let numbers and statistics trip you up when you're reading science news. And we have uh, uh, Dr. Daniel Loud uh, from the University of Oregon Department of Computer Science uh, talking on artificial intelligence. It's going to be a good time, you guys. So really good. And then Sunday morning, mm -hmm. for those who are oh, here, yeah, we get a out, tour of the Lori Loki um, nanotechnology lab on the University of Oregon, which is a very, very cool facility built way down underground on bedrock because the instrumentation is so sensitive that they can't have any vibrations. Mm. And it's very, it's a very cool uh, lab tour that we'll have Sunday morning. I mean, that's going to be unique, guys. Um, and the week before, if the weekend right before is going to be in Seattle and they've got yeah. a nice, they've got a nice, um, a bit there as well 
So lots of exciting things going on. If you want to travel or an excuse to go see Oregon, she says it's not the most beautiful time of the year. It's so hot and miserable with the smoke, but Oregon's always beautiful. Um, you know, come on now. So, ready? We're going to do our bonus. Let's go back. Thank you so much, Karen. Yes, thank you our very closer, much. Our closer. Thank, thank you very much. So in uh, this evening of uh, Trivia Light, we've had uh, two wonderful categories and announcements about some really interesting and, and fascinating things going on. Uh, to end our Trivia Light, I would like to say that um, what I'm about to offer you is this is petty, lowbrow, juvenile, rude, shallow, uncalled for in civil company, and surely beneath you find people of good character. <laughs> All right, bring it on. There you go. All right. So the category is, oh, here we go. Cut. The category is nicknames for Trump, 45th president of the USA <laughs> and the former leader of the free world. Hopefully he will never again, uh, hopefully he will never again uh, serve in that capacity. There's a typo there. Okay. Um, so the category is nicknames for Trump. All right. So uh, you will be given a list of 45 nicknames, oh. uh, uh, nicknames for convicted felon and former president Donald J. Trump. 40 of them are credited to late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel and five are from me. You pick 10. Only those from Jimmy Kimmel per an article <laughs> I'll provide to you later will count. Mono's rules. Yeah. I love it. It's Susan's birthday. She likes My Mono's birthday. rules. We have plenty of time. So keep in mind, you're going to get 40 <laughs> five of them are made up by me so you have to pick one of the 40 that actually were attributed to jimmy kimmel and it's mono's rules that's okay. right yeah carolyn's never been able to go this late to the whole she's gonna play the whole game and she gets to know what mono rules are okay now um, I'm not, and i'll explain that to you mono's mono's rules are that uh, if another team also picks the answer one of your answers, it doesn't count. Only answers unique to a team from the selection will count for a point. Oh, like bo answers. it's like boggle. It's like boggle. Only announce uh, only yes, rules. Like boggle. Yes, Alan you is know, correct. Alan, you know this. Alan <laughs> Alan is correct. It like boggle. If you both come up with the word, it doesn't count. Thank you for that shortcut to clarity, Alan. That's really good. So, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna put these in here 10 at a time. I'm not really sure. Oh, it looks like 10 will work. Okay. And I'm going to say them. I know people like it to like me, like to put them up. I am going to say the 10, then hit enter. That's what I'm going to do. You'll see them in a minute, but I want you to really savor what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, these are in alphabetical order. Number one, Al Capone. Number two, Alexander Scamilton. Number three, by the love of a God I don't even believe exists, will you just stop? Number four, commander in thief. Number five, commander in chief. Number six, Count Flatula. <laughs> Number seven, Darth Tax Evader. Number eight, Dictator Tot. Number nine, Don Porleone, Por, W H O R E, Porleone. And number 10, Donald Duck the Draft. Okay, that's 10. So you want, uh, I made up five of these, and you want the ones that Jimmy Kimmel, so you, it doesn't count if you pick one, one of the, uh, one of the uh, ones that I came up with. Okay, the next uh, are 11. Dopey McGropey. 12. El Porchapo. Number 13. Party Five. <laughs> 14. Fibaracci. 15. General Leisenhower. 16. <laughs> Grab Ass Grandpa. 17. Greedy McGolfie. 
18. Groper Cleveland. 19. <laughs> 19. Hair Moose Alini. 20. 20. Hippopotus. I, I can see Jamie writing these all down, getting all sorts of ideas. Now. Yeah. <laughs> He's okay, laughing. the next the next star. Had I known we were gonna only have three teams, I, I would have chosen fewer, but you know, I was trying to give enough variety for Mono's rules to make sense. 21. His flatulency. <sighs> 22. <laughs> how I wish there were a hell so I could trust you'd be in it one day, like we are every moment that there's a realistic possibility you might end up in office again. <laughs> 23. Hungry, hungry hypocrite. 24. Jabba the Pizza Hut. 25. Mayor McCut the Cheese. 26. Napoleon Bone a Spur. 27. Nostra Dumb Ass. 28. Orange Baby Jesus. 29. Orange Julius Caesar. Orange Julius Caesar. 30. Phony Soprano. And hopefully this is a bit cathartic as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here we go. Okay. Number 31. Presa Dementia. 32. Quid pro comb over. Quid pro comb over. 33. Rich little hands. 34. Rip one Van Winkle. 35, 35, Scammy Davis Jr. 36, Teddy Dozevelt. 37, the Ayatollah Complainy. 38, the Locker Up Ness Monster. 39, the Shart of the Deal. 40, the Tanchurian Candidate. 41, Trumple Skilt Skin. 42, why in the name of all that is just can't you choke on your own words or perhaps a cheeseburger? <laughs> Number 43, Yabba Dabba Doofus. <laughs> 44, Yelvis. Oh. <laughs> and number 45, you fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> so you are to pick, you are to pick 10 Mono's rules, five of them I wrote. And ones that I wrote don't count, and ones that somebody else chose don't count. Any questions? Okay. Let me send you to your rooms. Uh, rooms, rooms, rooms. Reactions, notes, more. Oh, it looks like I don't have... I'll do it. Yeah, I don't have uh, permission. Okay, thank you, Gail. Have fun. I just, I just saw an episode of Jimmy Kimmel, and he went through all these. So I remember some I'm of them. Muted. I'm sorry, I was muted. I've heard a few of these. Yeah, but he just had an episode. Oh, I don't watch him normally. Yeah, a Mark couple days ago, Jimmy Kimmel, so I never played him. <laughs> oh, we don't get much English here, so we watch it. So, um, but yeah, he had it. He Is it actually right? listened to it three days ago. So. I know a few of these. How about the locker up Ness monster? That sounds like something she might have made up. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Um, God, what would she, is she that clever? <laughs> some of the good ones. I think she. I think you can kind of tell hers. Like How about Orange three. Baby Jesus? Yeah, I think that's his. Oh. Excuse me, Susan. Can you give me powers? I can't jump around. Oh, okay. Go back to the main room. That's the only place I can give them to you. I'll go there right now. Okay. Thank you. Should we just choose 10? <laughs> Which is less likely? I only show breakout room three. Hold on. There it goes. Okay. So, Miss, Thank it, you. It, it go have fun. Over the top. Go Bye. have fun.
They need you. I'm going. I'm going. I gotta click the red button. Or the yellow. I think that was yeah, his. That's okay. Let's do nine. That it's obscure enough. Nine. Lee, okay. do you listen to Kimmel also? Lee? Who, me? Yeah. Do you listen to Kimmel? Not really. How about you, Janine? Nope. Yeah, I do. I mean, we just, I it's about I don't YouTube. watch much television. That's. For people with that's why I'm kind of worthless when we do categories on TV shows. I know. Oh, me too. I never turn the TV on. Yeah. How about Dictator Todd? That seems like something could have been made. I like, yeah. I like that one too. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Um, Fibaracci was his number 14. Did we yeah. some? Okay, that'll work. Um, yeah, 9, 8, and 14 now, Susan. Okay, 9, 8, 14. Um, I've heard hippopotamus. The hippopotamus? 20. That's 20. I tell you what, she should probably start working for Camel. These are some good ones. If she's, if, if, mm -hmm. I don't know which is her. We need to figure um, out the five she made up. How about, how about 18, Groper Cleveland? That sounds like something that would have gone early in his. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. You like yeah. that? Think, good you one. that? I mean, you think Karen made that up? No. I didn't oh. hear that one, but that's a possibility. Number 24, Job of the Pizza Hut. I heard him say that. 24. Can you believe he has a staff that probably just sits and writes these? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the Pizza Hut, uh, 24. The Orange Baby Jesus he did, I think. Yeah, yeah. Orange Baby. All right. 28. 28. That's a common one. Yeah, Orange, or, orange Jesus, yeah. How many do we have so far? I've got five. I have six. I have six. six. Wait, the ones that you're you're writing down. Okay, I've got nine. The ones that are Karens. So that we nine, know. Nine, eight, fourteen, eighteen, and twenty-eight. Twenty-four uh -huh. and twenty-eight. So you're saying? Okay. Wait, so you twenty-four and twenty-eight. So are you guys 24. writing down Karens? No. no, we're no. Jimmy no. You're writing we're Jimmy Kimmel's name. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so okay. I thought we were supposed to pick out hers. No. Pick no. Out. Pick out Jimmy ten. Kimmel's. Yeah. We okay. pick out ten that are. That's his. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel's. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. What are some other ones? We need four more. Probably like Greedy McGolfi, number 17. Try to find one a little bit obscure, which most likely is his. Greedy McGolfi? Yeah, that's not a bad one. Okay. See that General Eisenhower? I, I don't think, I wouldn't remember that one. I don't remember that. So maybe that's hers. Um, okay, we need three more. Number one is probably his, Al Capone. Do you think people would choose what, that? I don't know. What about Darth Tax Evader? Yeah, that's good. What, what number is that? Seven. Seven. Oh, okay. All the way through. Yeah. Okay. We need, I'll take we need one more. Uh, two more. Unless I missed something. No, I I have two more. Okay. What do you think? Pick two more uh, that you like. Um, Dear Mussolini. Which one? What number? Yeah, I'm trying to think of ones that people won't choose. Yeah.
test for that? About 22. I think that's hers. Okay. I thought that was yours. Okay. What was the one that you said, the last one that you said? Hair Mussolini, number 19. Oh, number 19, Hair Mussolini. Should we do that? I think one's yeah. as good as the other, as far as I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. can just we'll write them down. <laughs> Number 27, Nostra Dumbass. Okay. That's 10. 10. I think this is just random. What was the last one? 27. Nostra Dumbass. Nostra Dumbass. Okay. <clears throat> Susan, what did okay. they say disqualified you from Paxlovid? Was it age? Um, I have it right here. Let me see. I'm I'm curious because I don't know what the cutoff age. That... I don't have I don't have a high risk for developing severe COVID nineteen. I don't have certain <laughs> blood work dated within the last twelve months that you can share with your pharmacist. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to have blood work. That's no, I don't have anything. And you have yeah. one or more risk factors for developing severe okay. COVID. And then I don't have any of that. Did they give mm -hmm. an age cutoff? I'm really curious what, no. what, see, our doctor regardless would give it. We just but your keep doctor getting blood tests. Would do that. I know. And yeah. so Jane's got no doctor here. But you she know. can go into the end, that, but she, She's she may very well it. need a blood test. I forgot about the blood test. Mm -hmm. We try to stay up on ours so that we're ready to go. <clears throat> oh, oh. Yeah, excuse me. I didn't My get it to you, Lee. Yeah. Hanging out <laughs> with Susan, you're in trouble. I've, I've been hearing, I've told everybody to get, you know, that that happened. Sterling's a little sick, just a little bit, and Wendy's sick. Jane and I, nope, everybody else is testing and nobody else got sick. So I'm not keeping away a distance from my screen just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of asymptomatic. That's yeah. one of the problems with trying. That's one of the reasons they couldn't stop it was mm. asymptomatic. The, they didn't know they had it. So many asymptomatic. Nobody can say they don't have it unless they do a PCR, a good PCR test with. Um, sure. You know, so. Jeez. Terrible. Is there a current vaccine that exists? Just the regular vaccine. There are, there are vaccines or vaccines. I mean, they're pretty much, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because here, I mean, only, the only the original, the only vaccine that was available, which is the original one, all the iterations after that, they never came here. And And they're still effective. The original one? It's been a year. God, we haven't had a vaccine. We, we had six vaccines. We had it six times, but it's been so long. I mean, it's now it's been I've a had, year. I've had a, every year, Mark and I would go get our flu shot and our vax and our booster. So it's been a while. I mean, you know, we get it. Yeah, now. we have. We get it before cycling. We, we have one in the fall and one in the spring. Yeah. I was doing the one season, need to yeah. update the next, you know, like trying to get the next. Thing in there in the fall there will be an updated that's the last time yeah. i got it done the update it doesn't matter the the original is just as effective mm -hmm. so. it's just as effective that's, a, that's an uh, i so. i'm not sure if it's exactly just as effective for <clears throat> infection yeah it is for yeah. severe disease sure i don't know if it exists here but we had our flu shots recently the flu season is now right here oh ours, yeah. is, ours is a september october yeah, here it's weird. It's the opposite. It's during the rainy season when the flu season is. That makes but sense. Then, yeah, but then um, the height of the tourist season is around December, January. And that's when people from overseas come and they'll be bringing their flu. So we right. never know when should we get the flu shot? Will we get so do you, get, do you get two waves of the flu? 
I don't know. We get it before yeah. Psycon. <laughs> yeah. Right, Janine? We get ours. Yeah, we get ours before we, say, we go to Psycon. We get I want to get it before Psycon. Really? And so that yeah. I have time to to adjust to it or whatever it needs. That's when yeah. that's that's our how we judge things here. Yeah. yeah we we the get problem, it. I think that's February. The problem is last like last year for Psycon, it was like 80% effective against infection. Uh, but the spring, or that maybe that was the year before. The spring when Avery had their wedding and everything, it was only like five, ten percent effective against infection. Mm. So this the spring, but you don't know that until after the fact <laughs> when the data comes in. So it yeah. is you have no idea whether it's gonna be, you know, prevent infection or not. And mm -hmm. that's that's a really hard part, and it's hard to know whether the updated one that they're going to give in the fall is going to be effective against infection. Mm -hmm. I just watch the levels of, you know, going on. Like right now, levels are really high. Hawaii, California, and Oregon have really high levels of COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, then I wear a mask when Jeez. they're high. Um, yeah. um, Faith was just saying that they know a ton of people in North Carolina that's got it right now. Really? Yeah, oh I think I think it's going down in really. the west and and the um, south. That's going up because people are inside. You know, it's jeez. Mm -hmm. So it who's depends. written down the things for tonight? Who's got them? Lee, I'll call people back Bernard. if you guys are okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we need one volunteer from our team who will handle the the um the, what what Karen's going to put us through. Just one person who's got who knows exactly what we're going to use. For Is that you, Lee? I have them written I, down. I guess here. so. I got them You've been down. doing it. Okay, You've been doing in charge. I'm you do a good in. job. Okay, so, good. Yeah. Yeah. So I screwed up on the mic. I screwed up on the microwave one. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, that kept yeah. us from a perfect yeah. score, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we did yeah, good. When you said, yeah, said well. commercial, I thought it meant like in my aunt's house, but whatever. <laughs> you know. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang! Yeah. I just got a text from my sister that she just took my mother to the hospital. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. Did you hear oh, back no. from Jane? I did hear back from Jane. She tomorrow? just said she was too tired to do anything. I right probably now. have to go back tomorrow. But, she, but everything's, everything's closed right now. I told her the address and the place she needed to go. Um, I forgot about needing to have the kidney function test. I don't know what her status is. I'm glad you go. brought that up. I need to get my kidney function tests updated. Well, I need to go probably in the morning and rebook her hotel. She can't do it. So um, this is still being recorded. Okay. Keep in mind. Thank oh, you. Thank you. So nobody knows who we're talking about. So no. Uh uh. So but I'll probably have to do that in the morning. I'll I'll make sure I get up in the morning and deal with it. Yeah. But she should go at seven. 45. I doubt she's going to be moving at 745. She's not yeah. a fast upper. In the no, morning. I just know she was concerned about that. We did a lot of pre-planning so that she could get it in Eugene. So. Okay, five so. seconds. Good job, team. Yep. Wow, this has been kind of nice doing it so fast. I wonder if we should start doing three categories. <laughs> And with not a lot of conversation uh, and cut it back and we could be done by uh, a lot sooner. This has been kind of nice. Oh. Carolyn okay. would be happy. <laughs> okay. East Coast, East Coast votes, yes. Yeah, well, maybe we should start doing, go to four. I would have, I would be happy with that. Three plus a bonus and then maybe, maybe cutting it back further. I don't know. This is kind of nice. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, so uh, what I will do is ask that each team, we have three teams, 
Each team has one person who's going to speak for the team. And you will say your list one by one. We'll check to see if the other two teams have it. And uh, we'll eliminate that away. So we'll start with... Uh, uh, Karen, if you don't mind, before you do that, why don't you tell us the five that I, you did? I will not. Thank you for suggesting that. I will <laughs> okay. not do that. <laughs> um, so Okay. Karen uh, <laughs> has her message. Thank you for making your request. The answer is no. Someone's okay. going to have one. It's going to be fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, so we'll start. Which team should we start? Just numerical order. Start with uh, the first team. Would you tell me the name, Susan? You're muted. I muted myself. Okay. So the first team is, what is our Lots. name? We have 74 seconds. Okay. Who will be speaking for what is our name? I have the list. That would be Rob. Okay, Rob, go for it. All right. Our first selection was Donald Duck the Draft. Does anybody have that? Give yeah, the number. We... Give the number. 10. Number 10. Yeah, we got it. Oh. Okay. So Vince, you're the person speaking for your team? I am. Yes. And Janine is speaking for her team? Lee. Lee is. Okay, so we all right. So Lee, Rob, and Vincent. So number one, what would say the number and the the quote again, the name again? Yeah. So ten, Donald Duck the draft. We can't take that one. Okay. Number twelve, El Pork Chapo. Anybody have that? Okay, a point. So that means it's not yours. That is a point. Uh -huh. All right. Next one is fifteen, General Lisenhower. Nobody's speaking up. You have a second point. Yes. Oh. Number 18, Groper Cleveland. We got it. Ah. Okay. Number 19, Herrick Mussolini. We got that. Yeah. Oh, no. Number 30, Tony Soprano. A point for phony soprano. All right. Number 35, Scammy Davis Jr. We got it. Yeah, we have that too. <laughs> okay, so there are three teams. So um, that's Vincent, Lee. Vincent has it, and uh, Lee does not. Rob, no point. 40, the Tanchurian candidate. Nothing from Lee and Vincent. That's a point. And... 42. Why in the name of all that is ju just can't you just choke on your own words or perhaps a cheeseburger? Does anyone else have that one? No. No one else has it, but I made that one up. <laughs> Told you guys. <laughs> Gail, that's why I didn't, Gail, that's why I didn't want to say in advance. Uh, number 43. Oh, Yabba Dabba Doofus. No word from Vincent and Lee. You have a point. Yeah. All Just right. for my team's record, I was two for two in that round. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we got we got five points. All right. Five points for what is our name? We have 74 seconds. So the other two teams are tied. So let's just go down in normal order. Pole falter lost by this much. Vincent. Number four, Commander in Thief. No word. You have a point. Okay. Uh, number seven, Darth Taxi Vader. We got it. <clears throat> oh, shoot. He's got such a good writing team. I know. They do this for a living. Just like, can you imagine coming up all this? We're going to uh, have Karen do it. She's got it. She can do it. Uh, number 14, Fibaracci. We got it. <laughs> Fibaracci. Yeah. Uh, 16, Grab Ass Grandpa. You have a point. Can uh, you even believe it? I would have guessed that was the one Karen did. Number 17, Greedy McGolfy. We got it. Yeah. Keep in mind, you had 45. I mean, uh, 45 <laughs> to choose from? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't, I mean, what are the odds that you're, yeah, go ahead. 
Well, we someone actually, dirty. I'll have to figure someone that out. actually knows the odds. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Number 23, hungry, hungry hypocrite. You have a point. Cool. Uh, number 29, Harns Julius Caesar. You have a point. Cool. And our last one, Rich Little Hands. You have a point. Wow. Lee, what do you have on your list? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't say the number that we have. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, five. Five. All right. Nice. Lee, what do you have remaining? Okay, number nine, Don Horleon. One point for Don Horleon. Every point he should have, nobody has. One, no, maybe no. I said it. Oh, it. that's right. That's right. Don Horleone <laughs> is a point. Okay, number eight, dictator taught. <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> Number five, or excuse me, number 28, Orange Baby Jesus. You have a point. Okay, number 24, Jabba the Pizza Hut. <laughs> mm, you have a point. And number 27, Nostra Dumbass. <laughs> I wish I came up with that one. I love it. <laughs> okay, looks like we've got five. Okay, which ones did I make up? I made up by the love of a God I don't even believe exists. Will you just stop? Which Rob pointed out is not really much of a nickname, but you know. <laughs> and the other one is how I wish there were a hell too. so I could just trust you'd be in it one day like we are every moment I there's, thought that was a great one but there's a realistic possibility you'll be in office again uh, and uh, I also said uh, why in the name of all that is just can't you choke on your own words or perhaps a cheeseburger I like that I thought that was great too okay I was surprised you hadn't done the one that, that named Jesus because I didn't think you'd do yeah. that on television. <laughs> and uh, here here was a tricky one. Party five. I came up with that as a fake one. And then I was kind of double checking because I'm always worried I've, I've made a mistake. It turns out that was one he did too. So this is that original, right? Farty five. So if you said great, great minds think alike, right? Yeah, you would have you would have got the point if you said farty five. But I also made up the very cleverly worded and subtle you fucking idiot he never said that he never said that kevin, oh. kevin is right that he did not say that yeah because he wouldn't say it on tv okay so they would bleep uh, I, it out yeah so kevin was right when he said that so what i want to put in the the whatchamadoodle here is i gave you 45 of them right here is yeah. a link to an article from the June 15th magazine this year, LA Magazine. It has 78 nicknames <laughs> oh, uh, on the occasion of the Ferret Tops 78th birthday. And I came up with Ferret Tops. Yeah, Ferret Tops. That's, okay. That's good. So there is the there is the link there. I okay, still so like uh, the scores. Cheeto Mussolini. So I, I will point <laughs> out that my team my team was thinking I was being too pedantic, but I got four of the ones right that I thought you picked because they weren't nicknames. <laughs> okay, so you ready for the scores? Oh shoot, I said the score and then I got rid of it. Uh, oh, everybody got no, five. I know your score was five. five. Yeah, so okay. the, and it's everybody five. got five. So uh, the average score was five on that, and here is the final, final breakdown. It didn't change. It should be a tie. Hey. By fifteen, nineteen, and nineteen, <laughs> out of Bonus a total of a possibility of getting thirty points. Your bonus is empty. You put them in the wrong column. Oh, whatever. They no, tied for first place. They tied for first place. Yeah. If I put them over there, will it still add them? Hey, we're we were in second place. That's not bad. Well done, everybody. Very good. I'm proud of you all. Okay, there it goes. Everybody. So, happy so, it, so it turns it turns out my category sunk our team because that was the one we did really awful, and I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do really awful. It was it was uh got four. The team's got seven and nine. Second place. No, but it's six point six 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 something. <laughs> right? 
Yeah, no, I mean, four. I, it's I, almost I seven. Four on my category. Seven is almost almost good. Oh, it was it's almost like the same. Team. It just which team did it? Well, uh, by the way, for anybody who's interested, I put the answers with the the PowerPoint link for anybody who wants it into the chat before you leave. You can grab better. it if you want because I write all that stuff in there. And if you wanted all that information, I don't see it. It's in the chat before this round. There's the whole file, the whole PowerPoint is in there. I do that every time. I have a question. A, I see Rob's technical question for Kyle. PowerPoint question. Do you know if there's a way to truncate an answer so that it doesn't say 17.6666 infinity? Uh, the Excel question. I'm sorry, Google yeah, it's a PowerPoint. Actually, it's not yeah, even Excel. You could, you could, it's do, just you could route it to two thing. places. Yeah, you, you just round the cell. You change the format. You can change the format. Yeah, you can format the cell to be. So uh, here, let me let me nice. let me fix it for you, Rob. I'm looking, I'm looking. She I'm says looking. that with great pride. <laughs> <laughs> let me Brown fix that for you, Rob, oh. because you just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but there should be a way in the formula because I think in Excel there is there's a like format truncate. of cells and you can pick the scientific and or just do floor. architectural no. or, or units or whatever they call what it. Did they say? What did you say, Kyle? Or the floor I just put it in again, Susan. Okay. okay. Still can't hear. Show Kyle. us. Kevin, Show wait, Kyle was this. ask a question. Is it? Well, it's yeah. Equals floor or equals seal for ceiling. Those two will do it. There's also a round. There's a couple ways. Mm, you see, you see, are you looking at the screen? No, it's not. it's not shared. Susan, share the screen. I'm doing it. Hold on. I'm curious how there could be a pseudo archaeology. Oh, that that's a freaking big thing. It's like <laughs> pseudoscience. <laughs> they they, they, they make up archaeology. <laughs> are they like not? Digging up stuff or something like that. No, they, no they, they, they say things like the pyramids were made by aliens because it's mm -hmm. got this mark on it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's that okay. kind of crap. They find a mountain in the uh, middle of, of Europe and oh, this is an alien pyramid. That's studi archaeology. I have somebody who calls from recovering from religion. I'm sharing the screen. I can't stuff. figure it out. Hold on. There are certain there are certain names which uh, can't think of on top of my head, but they're really into this. You know, of course, they're all over YouTube channels and also on documentaries on Netflix. Okay. Stuff. Oh, okay. I get I'm it. speaking now. <laughs> I'm glad that you all have your chance to talk, but I'm speaking now. So do I need to click on that that right there to change it, or do I need to go up here to see and change it from there and go up here to well, data? Uh, so so cl click on one of the totals. I'm asking, I'm asking Kyle. He's the one we asked, right? So data, right? Or I'm doing oh, a quick format. check on my end to see. I want to go to... Format. Format. Format number. No, that's not what, that's not the way I want to do it. I know you can do it that way. You can do it in the formula. So I want to do it in the formula. The I don't like the formula oh. way. All right. You just click on it. And then what? Well, so uh wrap the whole thing in a parentheses and put floor at the beginning. Floor? Yeah. F L O O R. You got it. And put it at the beginning? Uh well after the equal sign. Like that? Yeah, but we got a little correction to do. Uh you want to open a parenthesis now and delete the one at the beginning. So where you are, put an open, yep, and then clear up the one there. And then put one at the very end, I think. Although if you hit enter, it might do it for you. Just it did. Zero. Still a bunch of numbers. It's two spaces. Doesn't it just made me, everything zero. It doesn't give me a five. Six point six six. Oh, you want it rounded that? Well, how many decimal points of precision you want? Oh, it says six hundred percent. What the hell is that? Weird. So you can also do round, and then uh, instead of floor, change it to round. But then we got to put in the number of decimal places you want. Okay. So at the very end, before the last parenthesis, put a comma. Uh, the next, yeah, you got it. Before the last print, so right here? Correct. Put a comma, and then let's just say one for now. And that'll give you just one decimal point of precision. 
<laughs> Although now it's on that format. You got to clear the format. Good night, guys. Good night, Karen. Thanks for staying the whole game. I don't have to clear the format. It was, uh, it was fun. Yes, thank you. How do I, no, how I the format? Yeah. Uh, format from the menu and choose number. Where you can co copy the format from the cell next to it with the, the, the copy tool. And do what? One Big number. It'll be fine. Ta -da! Ta -da! That's what I wanted. Excellent. Now drag it across to all cells on the bottom. Drag it's going to give you like two that? decimal points in all those. You don't need them in all those. No, you would. No, no. Go back to six point seven zero. Click on the yeah, bottom corner. The that. Yeah. Drag it across. Yep. Yay! I will never remember that, but that's okay. <laughs> good job, everybody. Very Susan, good. do you have next week with that? Actually, I do, and we're going to go next week. We're going to do four. <clears throat> Okay. So, Can Susan, I just tell you? You've got people already for them? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I wanted to say something. You mentioned something about ending at an earlier hour. That is po it mm -hmm. is possible to do that and still be social. We've done that before. If we're just a little more mindful of the time and adhere to, you know, like when we take a five minute break, then we really have a couple, you know, you we could do it early. You know, we could start like playing by a quarter to seven and we could be done by nine by 9 30 pacific time every time and still have social time well i'm gonna try four and then let's and i'll and try to be a little more mindful and what i'm gonna <laughs> tell people is if you want to go back to five then we need to be what questions more, you know like think about what you're doing instead of going yeah. on and on or arguing about stuff or well, you know what sometimes I mean? <laughs> sometimes we're in the rooms for like half an hour i mean we can I just don't understand that at all we could just say 15 minutes in the rooms I've had people who say, "I we didn't get to all the questions. And it's like, well, that's not my fault. So get in there and get it done. So you don't get to go back. So you We should try and keep the questions as short as possible. Well, we tried that. Remember mm -hmm. I've said- I know it's tough. No Sometimes bonus. it's tough. Don't give us a next, don't give us 11th one and try to, try to just, you know, get to the message. I had 11 this week. If you set a time and people know ahead of time, then I didn't get to the questions as an, an excuse. But yeah. now we always go back and give them more time, right? Yeah, we so, could just say, you could even do uh, your four in a bonus, but it's only like 15 minutes in the room. If, exactly. if three, we can do that. And if you I, know I beforehand, had, it's only 15 minutes. I had nine pretty quick questions and two long ones My my that I would have done tonight. I'll do it next week. The only reason why I didn't want to do a time is because I have a feeling that if I said, you've got 15 minutes to get this done, I think that you're going to have people jumping in going, I know the answers to blah, 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 and the discussion is gone. And it, I, I think the discussion is more fun. That's the only reason why I haven't put a timer. I yeah, want it to flow. And I don't yeah. want somebody jumping to it. Okay, we only got 15 minutes, so let me give you yeah, the Yeah, it stresses minutes. you out when there's a time limit. Well, I'm not so worried about stressing. It's not like I'm giving you a prize or anything. No, I know, but it's just like, oh no, we gotta hurry up. It's like just uh really just don't think about I it. I think that the person who's running the thing, who's got the category, will say, We'd like it to be done in 15 minutes. So you need to go through each room. And if you start seeing people who have got not gotten, you know, try to say, All right, let's move along. The next team's already got a bunch. Let's move along, move along, you guys quick move to the yeah. next one. Try to they use decide because some people don't even need 15 minutes, some of these categories. But I think you're right. Well, I think five minutes to be, done tend to be a half hour long. You know that. Yeah, when you I'll jump to the check, <laughs> when, when when everybody's on question seven, you can say, okay, we're going to give the 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 limit soon because uh, everybody's at least on seven or eight now. Yeah, you you should be able. The person hopping from place to place can push people a little yeah. when they need it. Suggest. Is there a way? Is there a way to make that two minutes to over into a bigger number? No. To make it, we can do to make it ten minutes. It gives you like a ten questions. It gives you like one minute, two minutes. It gives you a very short. It gives you like it gives you the time. But can it be three minutes? No, I think it's only two minutes is max. Okay. All right. Thank you all for joining me on this day. Thank I you, Susan. It. Thank yeah. you very much for my lovely song. That was so sweet. So I will see you next week.
Or if not sooner, I'll see other people other places. Good night. Okay. Bye. Okay.